Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try these Kroger brand street tacos. This one is the Southwest veggie version. It is black beans, cheese, vegetables, and seasoning wrapped in double white corn tortillas. So they're all veggies, corn, beans, stuff like that. Um, you never guessed what we bought these. Yes, it was at Kroger. Uh, it was $6.99 for the box, but you get, yeah, you get four tacos or two servings of two is what you get. The, the whole weight for the box is 12 ounces or 340 grams. Each serving for two tacos is 170 grams. So 280 calories for the two tacos. And then if you eat the whole thing, it's 550. 280 does not add up to 550, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, whatever. Um, so here's the other information for you. Okay, here's cooking directions. And I think on the back, it just describes what it is. Southwest veggie tacos combine corn, black beans, and diced onion with a Mexican style cheese blend and distinctive seasoning blends to provide our take on traditional handheld street tacos. Yeah. Okay. Uh, cooking directions. And I don't think there's any other directions on here. It's just microwave. So, um, my, microwave in tray from frozen on high for approximately two to two and a half minutes or until internal temperature reaches 165 degrees. Cooking times may vary. It does not say anything about taking... The, I know these are in plastic bags. Well, let me figure out how to open it. There we go. Um, that's probably should have pull tabs on it. Makes it easy. Um, yeah, there it is. And you get two of those, just like that. It doesn't say anything about taking it out of the bag, so I'm just, I'm just leaving it in the bag and microwave it. So I'm going to get this in the microwave for... I'll probably just do two minutes because if I go two and a half, it maybe um, make these tortillas hard. So I'm going to go to two minutes. I've got a pretty good microwave though, and I'll be back when they come out. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. The only thing I did was I took a fork and just moved them a little bit just to separate them, to, to help them cool off and to separate them from the bottom of the tray. They're super hot. It's very strong lime smell. That's what the strongest smell is. I'm getting like a lime-like smell. So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to let these cool off because they're super hot. I mean like hot, hot, scalding hot. And, uh, but that's a good thing. And I'll be back when they cool off. Okay. Hopefully it's cooled off a little bit. It still feels pretty hot to me. We'll, we'll see. So I'm gonna take a bite right there. It does have a pretty strong lime flavor. I think there's also some cilantro or something in there. It's very, very strong, the seasoning they put in there. Um, there's also some spice in there. I don't know if it's chili powder or what, but it's uh, like burning the back of your throat a little bit um, as you're eating it. So it's it's not, just because it didn't have any meat in it, doesn't mean they didn't put any hot spicy spices in there. So it is a little spicy. If you don't like spicy food, you probably would want to avoid these. The tortillas themselves are kind of rubbery, and I even went two minutes. So I didn't like over, over time or overcook them. Um, they're just kind of rubbery, and I think that's just how they are. Yeah, that lime cilantro like flavor is so strong that it's not pleasant to me. I, I really, I don't enjoy it at all because it is so strong. Now, if you don't mind those flavors, you'll be fine with these. You'll be perfectly fine. You'll you'll probably enjoy them because I think the the textures and everything are okay, but the seasonings are really really strong. So for me, it's my personal like this is what I taste. Um, I would give this a two out of five. I would not get these again just because I really don't like that seasoning. But again, if you like those seasonings, you might you might be fine with this. You would be perfectly fine. You could eat this. They wouldn't bother you at all. Because um, I do think the textures are good, except for the tortillas a little, like, I mean, I'm not pulling, and you can see how it kind of takes some effort to pull it apart. Um, it is a little rubbery and chewy, so just, just know that. So yeah, I'm going to give it a two out of five. I personally would never buy them again. But like I said, if you want to try them out, and if you like those seasonings, then go for it. You might love it. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.